Good morning, it's Carol Martine, and I'm back in my studio after my week in Asheville, North Carolina, enjoying the Smoky Mountains. Oh my, the weather was beautiful. It was in the low 80s and dry. Now, if you live in Jacksonville, Florida, where I live, you'll know that dry certainly counts. While I was away, I was able to do some work on my the back of my trifold, and I thought I would share that with you. If you will notice, I did some doodling with my gel glitter pens and my neons, and I worked on the fine-tuning some of my flowers and the flower if you might remember was made from a homemade stencil cut out of dollar store manila folders i embellished the lady on the uh, collage by adding a little bit of coloration to her hair the flowers, the lace, and her face. I also added gold to the frame. <clears throat> Down here, I added my motifs from my homemade stencils. And then I added some doodled leaves and stems. And I hope you will be able to notice that the veins in these flowers are glitter neons. And they are just absolutely wonderful. I got a whole package of those in Walmart for a ridiculously low price. So there is the front cover of the trifold and now I'll show you the entire piece this is the back the back side of the folder in which I embellished the collage and the flowers and here I used a little bit different technique on this I used um, Derwent watercolor pencil to make the leaf one part of the leaf modeled and then this side which might be my favorite, I'm not sure. I do like this. This one was great fun doing because the bird, when we left it on the part one video, it was just sitting there. So I made a branch and I used ink tints, shades of browns, and I embellished the birdie a little bit and followed some of the same techniques that I had done before. I outlined the collage pieces to make them pop a little bit forward. And so here we are. Do you notice that the embellishment in this flower is iridescent? Nice iridescent purple, which I used again on that circle collage. Ah, oh, there you can see the iridescent green veins in the flowers. So, this is the fun part on my doodling that I did 
up in the mountains. And then I also worked on two sides of the inside of the trifold here. I used that lovely gold and I'm very tickled with the Sharpie gold pen. It really works nicely. It worked very, very nicely. No runs, no hits, no errors on that. The Dreamcatcher, if you will remember, I did uh, by hand and it was probably more work than I expected to have, but once you start, you kind of can't finish until it is done. And my feathers are collages, all of which I just kind of have to admit, in this area, I went a little crazy because I was having so much fun. The feathers were not standing out, so I just did a little bit of embellishing on them and outlined them in my go-to Signo Uniball bold pen, which is absolutely the one or two things I would probably grab in my house if it was on fire. And I just had fun, fun, and more fun embellishing. When I started doing these little dots or berries or whatevers, these little doodle fun dot thingies, I couldn't stop. I started here and then, whoops, there and here and here and over here. And it was just more fun than is decent. So that leaves this one that I'm going to be working on now. I'm going to be doing this flower and then embellishments and fun things in this section. In order to embellish this flower, the same as I did the other ones, uh, you will note that the um, embellishment in the center of the petals on this flower was done in Derwent watercolor and I chose the Crimson Lake. I did not have a color that I liked with this in my ink tents, although I did use ink tents on these other flowers. This was the only uh, color that suited me, so this is what we will be using here. I do hope that you have enjoyed this plunge in over the abyss with a double trifold, but I certainly have to admit that I've learned a lot and had a lot of fun working. I also am quite interested in the, the feel of this paper after it has been covered in gesso and under paintings in ink, uh, I'm sorry, in uh, ceram coat acrylics and then some more uh, white acrylic to push it back and then my additions of uh, collage has left the paper with a rather unique feeling. It almost feels leathery. It's most interesting. I'm wondering if that might have to do with the fact that these, uh, these folders were uh, made, the paper was made in 1955. Maybe the quality then was different. I don't know. But this just feels almost organic. It feels just wonderful. If you have enjoyed watching my process, in part one, and now working on this last part of the trifold on part two, I hope that you will give me a thumbs up, leave a comment, share with your friends, and I would certainly appreciate it if you would subscribe to my channel. Well, we're off for the last hurrah on this piece. Bye-bye.